Hello there, Kyle Katarn here, and it is Wednesday, my droids. Let's read some Star Wars comics. How's it going, Digi? UMB? Um, testing out the hotel internet? Well, let's give it, let's put it to the test, shall we? Let's give it a real stress test over here. <laughs> oh, gonks in the chat, you love to see it. Um, today we're reading Darth Vader, issue number 49. That's right, this is the penultimate issue of the Darth Vader run. Um, and it's been fantastic. We're ending it on kind of a wild note here with the Schism Imperial. Although now that I'm calling it wild, like, we've seen wilder things in this story alone, you know? Kitster and Wald and pod racing and Sabe coming back into the fold. Like, it's actually been pretty crazy. Um, and I'm going to be pretty sad when it's over with. But we know that, you know, the stories will continue. But Darth Vader obviously won't be one of the stories concurrent with Star Wars anymore. Because the next Star Wars... Uh, line is going to be taking place after Return of the Jedi, and, well, there's no more Vader, so. I'm excited to see what comes in its place, though, you know? Uh, we actually left this in issue 48 on the craziest of cliffhangers, right? So, Sly Moore is finally making her move, trying to supplant Vader as Palpatine's right hand, like, she used the same dark droid technology that he used to uh, enslave the MAR Corps, and now they've actually got him under control using the same technology and and as you can see from the from the terrifying cover art here you're trying to just drill straight into that armor you know they have him well i they don't he's i mean i guess he's a prisoner they've got him subdued right but vader's gonna do what vader always does and just use raw force power to get through it that's my prediction here because at, at the end of the day he's still the damn chosen one Really good cover art, too. I love the little subtle yellow outline with the red background like that. Rule of Two. Sly Moore's Schism Imperial, a covert group within the Empire determined to overthrow the Emperor, has continued to grow. Darth Vader has now led the group on missions from the Outer Rim to Tython, all building toward a final assault on the Emperor's regime. However, Sly Moore betrayed Vader and used his own droid-controlling devices against him in an attempt to take his position at Emperor Palpatine's side. Now she's left Vader to his fate at the hands of the vengeful MAR Corps, who have just recently regained control of their cybernetic bodies. Written by Greg Pak, art by Rafael Ienko, colors by Frederico Blee, letters by BC's Joe Caramanga. Let's go. And the MAR Corps are pissed, right? Because they were, like, fully conscious during the entire ordeal that they suffered at Vader's hands, and I'm sure they want some payback. Outer Rim, Endoviara 7. Endoviara 7. How does it feel, Lord Vader? We're doing to you what you did to us. We're doing to you what you did to us. Implanting you with a droid brain that controls your body. While your mind is still conscious, trapped inside. <laughs> this is a very serious moment. You're paralyzed. A prisoner in your own body. Not used to that, are you, Lord Vader? Oof. You guys have no idea. No idea at all what he's suffered. I hate you! Nothing you filthy rebels could ever do could hurt Lord Vader. Wouldn't be so sure about that, Pride. When Vader was torturing us, we could feel him in our minds. He suffered when we suffered. That should also tell you that he can take it, though. He can take that kind of pain. He's so used to it, he lives in it. You know our names, Vader. And you know our pain. Tandorvo. Captain of the Lost Patrol of Danon. Massakint of Delalt. Blades, the only survivor of the Third Rebellion of Z9 City 7. Roar! And Chemdaka, brother of Moroff of Gigor. Moroff! Oh, Moroff was one of the uh, one of the fighters in Rogue One. Okay, R.I.P. to a real one. Nice to know he had a brother. Yeah, that droid is certainly trying to rip off Vader's helmet. It kind of reminds me of, like, the thieves trying to get into the Batmobile when it was all locked down, you know? There's going to be so many booby traps and different systems in there they got to get through. 
it's not a question of just yanking his helmet off. Like, it's not that easy. All I know is that you are rebels forever. But your names mean nothing. The only name that matters is Skywalker. Skywalker? I mean, I mean, I'm sure in Vader's mind he's about to kill all these people, right? So it doesn't really matter what intel he shares. Because as far as he's concerned, they're all dead. Outer Rim. Caranthanax B, Southern Pole. How's it going there, R2? It would be much quicker if you hadn't cut quite so many holes in the ship. I might not have had to if you and Sabe here hadn't kidnapped Warba. She shot at me too. Don't forget that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Warba. I had to see if Luke was hiding the kind of anger that Veda could use. He still seems pretty angry, if you ask me. As a matter of fact, yes, I do wonder if Lord Vader, in all his might, could influence your master. Well, if we don't get this ship fixed, we'll all have the chance to find out when he gets here. Oh no. It's too late. They found us. Here we go. Not quite. They're landing on the other side of the forest. They don't know our exact location. I don't... I don't sense Vader. That's good? Maybe we're off the hook. Hmm. I wouldn't say that. Whoa, what is on the horizon over there? Oh, it's a ton of lasers? Oh, they're like scanning everything. Scanning, scanning, scanning. There. Got it. This is Fabarian. We've spotted a ship. Life forms? No readings. No readings. All right, then. Let's see what you can do. No! Not Sabe's ship! Destroy it. <laughs> God damn it, do you know how rare J-type Nubian ships are at this point in the galaxy? Huh? Chromium doesn't grow on trees, you know. Whoa! Whoa! Those aren't your everyday battle droids, are they? You stay here, R2. I'll see if I can draw them away. There. Fire! That's it! We got them! Oh, Fabarian. Congratulations. Who'd you get? <laughs> Whoa! Look at his face! Oh, man. He is... He is shook. Amazing. Yeah, Luke is... I mean, he really has a lot of Anakin sass, doesn't he? I feel like he's underappreciated for his one-liners, because even as Vader, Anakin's full of, like, the, the dad jokes and the puns, and be careful not to choke on your aspirations. But, like, Luke is super quippy, too. Congratulations. Who'd you get? What? What? I saw... Sure. But what did you see? Look, he used tree limbs. He used tree limbs to... Oh, you cheeky monkey. He used a decoy! He's here! Hey, don't run off. I wanted to ask you something. Huh? Oh, no! Oh, yeah. oh is he... He's pushing him out of the way. What's coming down? Ho! Oh, it's Tantaza! And she's got the Kyber weapon. Let's go. Grrrr! Wow, take so much friendly fire. She's taken out so many of their own droids, though. It's because it's such a powerful weapon, and Ta Governor Tontaza does not know how to handle it, you know? So, like, they did also, they didn't solve the kickback problem, so it's probably really hard for her to aim it, but it's, like, traveling like crazy. So even though Luke's able to get Fabarian out of the way, all these droids just getting cut down. Ah! Oh, oh Vader's sensing it. He's sensing it on his planet right now. My son, I sense your fear. But fear is not enough. That... that blast! You've got a kyber weapon? You... you saved me. When will you unleash your hate? 
Again, Tontaza. Ugh. She's injured, Administrator Moore. We haven't had time to fix the backdraft from Vader's weapons. Vader. Vader knows we're here. None of that matters. There's no time left. This is very dire. And if, Vader sh if Vader's able to overcome the MAR core and then show up as well, it's going to be such a showdown. But I bet you that's going to be up issue 50. It's going to be the very end of this. Oh, okay, cool. Meanwhile. What do you mean, Skywalker? Luke Skywalker, destroyer of the Death Star, hero of the Rebellion? I'm surprised you don't... We know who he is. What's happening to him? The Schism Imperial has his location. They're going to kill him. If you rebels want to save him, you need my help. Lies. No, Masakint. Or, oh, it's this guy. No, Masakint. I'm, tra I'm tapped into his nervous system. He's telling the truth. Why would Vader want to save Luke Skywalker? Skywalker is young and weak. Like most of the rebels, I've had the privilege of seeing Lord Vader exterminate. Gah. But the boy has certain abilities. If he survives, he could become strong and useful. Now they're putting it together. So should we save Skywalker for Vader? I don't think you fully comprehend your situation. Oh, I see. She's being sarcastic. So we should save Skywalker for Vader? I don't think you fully comprehend your situation. Lord Vader will break free of your implanted droid brain within moments. He's... he's right. Oh, he's about to come to and just, like, wreck them all. So this is... this is... this is their only chance. So Lord Vader is only offering you this deal because these moments are critical. If you waste these moments and allow the Schism Imperial to kill Skywalker, Lord Vader will kill you. But if you use these moments, perhaps for once, Lord Vader and the Rebellion will find common cause. Of course, he might also just kill you anyway, but at least there's a chance, eh? <laughs> oh, I love this droid. Yeah, good. I see him, R2. We gotta move, Fabarian. I can't. Your leg. Oh, his... What? I'm sorry. I wasn't fast enough. Come on, give me your arm. Still helping me? Well, your friends sure aren't. Don't quite understand what you're doing with them. Nice. I see you, Luke, with the Loki recruitment. You know, I kind of got the vibe from Fabarian that he could be meant for more than just being an Imperial lackey. When we first met him, like, they gave him a pretty dynamic backstory. So, if they can get him to join the Rebels, I'm down. I'm down with that. God, though, like, the lasers just took his full leg off. Let me go back and see if we actually see it happen in the art. No, okay. The last time we see him, he's on two, he's on two legs running. Okay. And then we cut back and just... Whew, man. He'll make a cool Rebel, though, with a cybernetic leg. Your friends sure aren't. Don't quite understand what you're doing with them. We were... We were supposed to bring order. Yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> Administrator Moore, we have located Warba Callop and Commander Sabe. Sending coordinates. Forget them! Tontaza, keep targeting Skywalker! Ugh. We need to fix the backdraft. Another blast could kill her. So put someone else in the suit. There is no one else. Except you. <laughs> it's a big dramatic point. Ha. Huh. So now we finally get to find out. Is the Schism Imperial really about order? Or the ambition of Sub-Administrator Moore? Administrator Moore, thank you very much. Now get out of that suit. Oh, she's going to do it. You know, I really think that Sly Moore's numbers, like, her days are numbered. I don't think she's going to survive this line, but I don't think her death is going to come until issue 50. Like, she's going to go down with a bang, but, like, there's no way she makes it out of this. Not with all the scheming she's done so far. I like that they've kind of turned her into, like, the little finger of this time period, though.
Vader? Calm yourself, Tantaza. The Schism Imperial still has a card to play. Oh, what? Is that the World Destroyer? Jesus. It is. It's the Death Machine. Oh my god, they're gonna take the whole planet. What? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. The death machine has landed, Administrator Moore. Awaiting your orders. Stand by, Korlek. Droid, broadcast on all channels and a loud hailer. Skywalker. This is Administrator Moore. You have already lost. The only question is how many innocent lives you will take with you. I'm not the one taking lives. I even saved Fabarian for you. Ah, so you have his comlink. Then we can talk. We are the Schism Imperial. Our goal is to overthrow the Emperor from within. I thought that might appeal to you. You want an alliance? How much do you know of the Sith, boy? Or the rule of two? Ooh, I don't know if we've had Luke have this conversation before. I used to think the rule of two meant the Emperor and Vader. Or perhaps one of them and you. But what if it meant you and me? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? Everyone's saying what? The schism and the rebellion. That could topple the Empire. Vader is coming, Administrator. You can feel him, can't you? You're the one who's already lost. Show yourself! I don't think so. Show yourself, and I will spare you. Continue to hide, and I will kill you along with this entire world! What? Oh, the rumbling. The death machine's firing up. Let's go. Tontaza's death machine. It can drain the life from entire planets. The charts describe this world as uninhabited. But you know the Force. You are connected to all living things. Can you stand to watch everything here die for you? Luke Skywalker is really about to sacrifice himself for a bunch of insects, isn't he? Because he's that pure of heart. But even more to the point, your friends are still down there. Luke, don't listen to her. She's full of lies. Probably still working for Vader. Trying to flush you out so he can finish the job. Maybe, but there's not enough time. Luke! Administrator. You feel it too, don't you? The Force. All the living things on this world. Can you really stand by and let them all die? I will. Do what I must. All right, then. Skywalker, no! Here I am. Oh, Luke. Come on. Every time he sets himself up for a noble sacrifice, we know it's going to get interrupted at the last second here. I'm guessing by Vader's arrival at this point. Also, before we move on, Sly Moore looks hilarious in this suit, this tiny little bald head, but I'm kind of digging it, actually. It's a, it's, a, it's a good look. It's very Warhammer 40k, with the massive kyber just, like, embedded in the shield and the spear. <laughs> this would make for a wild on-screen storyline, wouldn't it? All right, then. Skywalker, no! Here I am. Yes! Luke, no! Oh, it's too late. He's doing it. Fader's here. I know. Wait, that was not a Sabe voice. Vader's here. I know. <laughs> this is the coolest slime Moore has ever looked. And I think these are her final moments. Let's find out. We're too late! No! Either this blast hits him, just dead, hits him center mass, or Vader's about to pull, like, a long distance to Teal Sean and just, like, use the force to... 
Ooh, like a Kylo Ren move, you know, where he stops the blaster bolt midair. Is Vader have that much raw power that he can just stop a bolt of Kyber mid streak? <laughs> okay, no, it did hit. It did hit. Oh, but he bubbled him. Vader did that. He bubbled him. He saved his son. And you got knocked on your ass from the kickback, didn't you? Because the droid warned you and you didn't care. Vader. 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 To be concluded. Man. This was a good one. This was a good, and this is a really good setup for what's going to be like a crazy finale. And I'm really glad they got Greg Pak and Raffaello, Raffaello Yanko come back for the finale here. You know, starting the way it began. You know, this, look, even Ochi of Bestoon makes his way under the cover for the finale here. Shout out to Ochi, who's been, he's been missing these last few issues of Vader. This was a really good one. Like, honestly, this was a lot of fun. Luke Skywalker, Bubble Boy. <laughs> totally. I'd love to see a, a Star Wars remake of that movie set in universe. <laughs> I've really enjoyed Sly Moore as a character. Um, it's 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 one of my favorite things that they do in Star Wars, especially in like the expanded universe like this, is that you know when you take an on-screen character who has very little dialogue, usually just a name that comes from like an action figure, and then flesh out their backstory and turn them into such a rich character as like part of this tapestry of like the history of all these events that are happening. And I'm impressed with what they've done with Sly Moore, how they've fleshed her out, the roles they've given her to play, the way she's able to interact with so many different galactic events, like the Crimson Reign, the War of the Bounty Hunters, Dark Droids, the Schism storyline now here, you know, dating all the way back to Revenge of the Sith, even earlier in the Clone Wars, you know, with her Umbaran connections. She's a very cool, very well-developed character. She's a great heel. You love to hate her. And, uh... Yeah, I'm really excited to see what ends up happening with her in the final issue of Star of uh, Darth Vader here. Issue number 50. Um, thanks so much for watching, everybody. That's all I got for Comics with Katarn this week. We read through Darth Vader issue number 49 in preparation for the 50th and final issue of this run. It's been a great time. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, this has been Comics with Katarn. I go live every, uh, every Wednesday. I'm trying to do it later on in the day, so the, the streams will probably be more in the afternoon because I think that'll help a little bit more people be able to find them. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.